Hey there guys, this is John from Care for Life, a medical equipment distributor based in Metro Manila. And in this video, we will share to you everything you need to know to make your ultrasound machine buying decision as simple as it can be. Whenever we hear ultrasound, we can help but associate it with a pregnant lady inside a doctor's office taking a little preview of the baby growing inside her womb. Ultrasound has been a very useful diagnostic tool for physicians. It is a medical test that uses high-frequency sound waves to capture live images from your body. Ultrasound scan is also known as sonography. Fetal imaging is only one of the many uses of ultrasound. When buying an ultrasound machine, it is very important to understand first what application is to be done on the machine. Will you need it for general ultrasound, 2D echocardiography, vascular scans, or perhaps 3D imaging? This diagnostic tool actually has various applications, and one distinguisher of its uses is the probes. A probe or what others may call a transducer is one of the most important part of an ultrasound machine. The probe utilizes a piezoelectric crystal that emits sound waves and receives the echoes. The waves bounce off tissue masses and boundaries in the body. The received echoes are then processed and displayed by the ultrasound machine main unit. The resulting image is called the sonogram, which is then printed on a thermal paper. The transducer is placed directly on the patient's body and moved over the area to be viewed. Ultrasound probes comes in various shapes, sizes or footprints, and frequencies. Each probe has unique use for certain parts of the body. The frequency of the probe determines the image quality and penetration. The higher the frequency, the higher is the resolution. The lower the frequency, the deeper is the penetration. Let us now discuss the different probes used in medical ultrasound. First in our list is the linear probe. This transducer contains an array of crystals arranged in a linear pattern. A rectangular field of view is produced with this transducer arrangement. This probe emits high frequencies in order of 4.5 to 18 MHz, which provides better resolution but less penetration. Due to this configuration, the probe can create high-definition images of structures close to the body surface. Linear probes are commonly used in applications like vascular, musculoskeletal, testicular, breast, and thyroid examinations. The next kind of transducer is the convex probe. This probe is also called the curvilinear transducer because the crystals are arranged in a curved convex array. This results to a sector of pie-shaped image that allows for a wider field of view, especially on deeper tissues at the cost of reduced lateral resolution. The range of frequency used by this type of probe is usually between 2 to 6 MHz. This is the probe commonly used when looking at organs like liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, and kidneys. It can also be used when visualizing the developing fetus of a pregnant woman. The third kind of transducer is the phased array probe. This probe, thanks to its small footprint, enables the imaging of organs behind structures that are not ultrasound friendly. This is the reason why doctors choose this probe to view organs in the chest like the heart because its ultrasound waves are able to sneak through the ribs. This transducer is commonly used for heart examination like through the echocardiography. The probe frequency varies in the range of 2 to 6 MHz. The next kind of probe is mostly used to perform internal examination of the patient like transvaginal and transrectal scans. This type of probe is called the endocavity probe. This transducer has a much longer probe handle and has a U-shaped lens and array. Its small footprint allows this transducer to be used for scanning the inside of the body. Because of its shape and appearance, endocavity probes do not have a great range of depth but they give out a much wider field of view than of a convex probe. Your doctor might order this kind of ultrasound to diagnose a certain condition or to check out your baby while it's still in the womb. 
This is used in females to check the cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and the bladder. In male patients, it is used to check the bladder, prostate, and seminal vesicles. The probe frequency varies in the range of 5 to 11 MHz. 3D ultrasound refers to the volume representation of ultrasound information and is also referred to as 4D when it includes a sequence of 3D volumes gathered over time. This probe is usually utilized in fetal, cardiac, and vascular applications. 3D ultrasound can be used when doctors want to have a complete understanding of the three-dimensional anatomic relationship, which could not be done when using 2D probes. Well, that's all for today, folks. To learn more about our ultrasound buying tips, stay tuned for the second part of this video. And if you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to share this video to your friends. Again, this is John. See you guys soon.